Today I want to share with you three very different neutral tablescapes. Ones that are really simple for you to recreate. I'm Nicole with Adorn the Table and I noticed in watching various videos on tablescapes and table settings how involved they can be. You know, there's usually some DIY projects, there's almost always a very intricate centerpiece and sometimes when you're watching those they look beautiful, they're fabulous, but they're maybe a little too much for you or you're feeling that you're not quite capable of creating something like that. So I thought today, hey, let's share something that you can easily recreate for your friends and family that you can have on your table all the time and use for casual get-togethers. So with each of the tablescapes that I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna start with something different. So one of them, I'm gonna start with placemats. A second one, I'm going to start with a table runner. And then a third one, I'm going to use a tablecloth. But in each one, I'm going to start with the same foundation for my place settings. I'm going to use the same dinner plate, the same salad plate, the same drinking glasses, the same utensils, and the very same napkin in each one of these three different tablescapes. And then I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit of color. That way it differentiates it. At the same time, you're not gonna be breaking the bank and creating a different looking table setting. So I am so excited to share these ideas with you. So let's get started. For my first tablescape, I'm gonna start with these beautiful woven placemats. Now, some people call them chargers, but since there's no indentation for a plate, I always refer to them as placemats. And I love this medium neutral tone. It looks fabulous against my wood table. It's a great way to start the foundation of my table setting. So I'm just gonna take and put one in the front of each one of my chairs, and then I'm gonna add my dishes and my flatware to each of the place settings. Next, I need to add my glasses. Now, you probably have seen these glasses on a previous tablescape. I absolutely love them because I think you can easily dress them up or dress them down, and they add something vintage to my tablescapes. I really enjoy incorporating vintage with new slash modern pieces in my table settings. And the next part to our place setting is we need to definitely do something with our napkins. For this tablescape, I am going to take my napkin, I'm going to grab one corner, and I'm going to kind of slide my hand down the napkin until I found about, about the center. And I'm going to just take and tie a simple knot in this napkin. Now, I'm sure you've seen this before. It's a nice and simple option that's just a little different. You don't need a napkin ring, but um, adds a little bit of visual interest to your place setting. 
and make sure that you put your napkin to the left of your forks. So for the centerpiece of this neutral tablescape, I decided that I would use, it's a elevated wood bowl. I found it at an estate sale a while ago. But I love how the raised part of the bowl is gonna add some visual interest to my table. The roundness of the bowl is complementing the round shape of my placemats. And then inside of the bowl, I added some faux flowers. The neutral colors pick up on the colors that I'm using on my table and they continue to add a bit of a softness to the tablescape as well. At the same time, it's very contained, easy to take off and on of my table setting. And then on each side of this bowl, I'm gonna add a candlestick holder. The wood tone of these candlesticks match beautifully with my table, complement the bowl and the placemats, and I opted for some shorter white candles, a little chunky, because I think that thickness complements the whole table setting and it makes everything cohesive. Now, as you can see, this first tablescape, it is pretty, it is simple, it's very neutral, and it is a wonderful foundation to build off of. As I mentioned, I want to show you how easy it is to transform these neutral tablescapes I'm sharing with you. So to transform this neutral tablescape and add a little bit of color, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the napkins and add a different napkin that's going to add a little bit more color to this whole table. thought it would be fun to start with these napkins. They have a really pretty yellow and greens and they're definitely adding a pop of color to this tablescape. So I'm just gonna put one to the left of each of my forks where my previous napkin was. And now to bring in the colors from the napkin into my centerpiece, I'm going to remove my candles. And I'm gonna add green candles that complement the green that is in the napkins. And then I'm going to remove the flowers that I have in my centerpiece. And inside of my centerpiece, I'm going to add lemons, which is gonna pull out the lemons from the napkins and add that beautiful yellow color. Now, I will be honest, I did not go buy a bunch of lemons because right now my family, we would not have a use for them. So I have faux lemons, which work just as wonderfully and you definitely get the visual that I am going after.
There we go. You can see how easy it is to transform this neutral tablescape by adding colored candles that complement my napkin along with colors in my centerpiece that complement the colors in my napkin as well. So easy, very little investment needed to make this change, just getting new napkins and candles. For my second neutral tablescape idea, I'm going to be using this light tan table runner. I'm actually gonna remove all of the placemats, but I'm gonna keep the dishes, the glasses, and the flatware, and using that same white napkin, but definitely changing up the overall look and feel of this table setting. For my second neutral tablescape, I thought I would do something a little different for my centerpiece. I decided to use a piece of art as my focal point. Now, most of the time when you see tablescapes table settings, there is a large, gorgeous floral display in the middle of the table. Or there's a tray filled with different decor items and everything looks fabulous. And I know I do it, but sometimes simple really has a wonderful statement on a table. And finding a piece of art that complements the rest of the setting looks fabulous. Now what I thought I would do is I would actually take these two candle holders and kind of put them at a little bit of a angle and they complement my wonderful sculpture piece. The colors in them match perfectly. They also have that wonderful neutral vibe that I have going. Now, I actually found the candle holders and the center, the sculpture piece at Target, so I'll make sure I put the links down below for you. But I love the simplicity and ease that these are giving to my tablescape. And then of course, since I've got candle holders, I need to add candles. 
And I have some large white candles that I thought looked perfect in here. And they definitely give a little bit more of an elegant feel to my table setting and dress it up. Now, of course, you could use shorter candles, but I really liked the height that these gave, but they also give some openness for my guests to be able to see each other. To round out my tablescape, I need to add the napkins to my place settings. And I thought what I would do for the napkins on this table. So I would take my same napkins, I'd find the center point, I'd pinch it, and then I would take these brushed gold napkin rings and just slip them down the napkin. Very easy, very simple, and adds that elegance that I'm bringing in with my candle holders and my sculpted piece. Next, I want to show you how easy it is to transform the look of this tablescape just by changing two things. I'm going to switch out the candles and the napkin. So instead of these long white candles, I opted for something different. I'm going to replace them with the white chunky ones I had on my first tablescape and adding a peak chunky one as well. So I'm gonna add one of each to my candle holders, which is already giving a different look, overall look to this tablescape. And then I'm gonna switch up my napkins too. So you've also seen these napkins in a previous tablescape. They are my pink and white gingham ones that I used on my Easter table setting, and I'm going to incorporate them into this one. And I'm just going to actually do the same thing that I did with my white napkin. I'm going to take the napkin ring off of it, find the center on my pink and white gingham napkin, and just slide it down. And then I'm going to take and put one of those on each of my place settings. It definitely is transforming the overall look and feel of this tablescape. For my third neutral tablescape idea, I've already obviously cleared everything from my second idea with the table runner. And this one I'm starting with a tablecloth. Now this tablecloth is actually a DIY drop cloth tablecloth. So it has a more rugged feel to it. It is not a crisp, pristine looking tablecloth, which is going to work really well for the idea I'm going to share with you. 
The best part is it has a wonderful neutral foundation color, something that I can easily take and build off of. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm actually going to kind of start with my centerpiece idea before I put down my plates and my place settings. And what I decided to start with is this wonderful antique lace. I found this at an estate sale. And I know you hear me talk about it all the time about how I find things at estate sales, but geez, the inexpensive things you can find that are absolutely wonderful. I mean, I found there's yards and yards of this uh, lace on here and I probably got it for a whole dollar and it looks wonderful against my drop cloth tablecloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and lay a piece down the middle of my table, almost as if it was a table runner, and I'm gonna cut it to that length. So one of the things to mention though is you do not need an antique lace like what I am using. You can grab any kind of lace or ribbon that you want that is going to complement your tablecloth. It's really just going to give a little bit of definition and some visual interest to your table setting. And as I mentioned, just take and pull it all the way down the middle of your table. Now, as you probably see, this lace is not laying flat, and that's actually okay. I am not going to be picky about it. Um, part of it is because it is antique that it has um, got some puckery and there's um, some tears and some other pieces in it that it's not perfect, but its imperfectness is what I think makes it perfect for this tablescape and for what I'm going to be using it for. Now that I've got my lace down the middle of my table and looks the way I want it to look, I'm going to put my dishes and my flatware back onto my table. I'm using my lace here as the center point for my plates. And now to add the glasses back. For my napkin, I am going to take and fold it into a square. And then I'm going to turn it so that the four points or corners are all facing down. I'm then going to take the folded top pieces and I'm going to bring those into each other like so. And then, and to me this is what I'm thinking is the back. And then I'm going to take and flip my napkin over I'm next going to take a piece of twine. You can use ribbon, um, anything that you want to use, yarn, and I am going to slip that underneath. I am then going to take and pull it together and tie it in a simple knot. And let the 
ends just hang freely. That's it. Super simple, super easy for this tablescape. In the middle of my table, I am adding this white platter. I love white dishes because they're a wonderful foundation that you can build off of. I'm just gonna put that platter right in the middle of my table. And then, I am gonna add this white pitcher that is filled with a really pretty uh, flower bouquet. I've used hydrangeas and this eucalyptus. So I'm just gonna put that right in the middle of the platter. And you know, this is just such a simple and easy centerpiece that has such wonderful impact on a tablescape. But I have two other things I'm gonna to add to the middle of this table. I have two of these little bowls and they actually match the salad plates that I am using. I'm gonna put one on each side of my platter. And my idea is that I could either fill them with nuts or candies or even any other kind of condiment. And then inside of each of my bowls, I am going to add a lovely antique silver spoon. I found two of these actually at an estate sale and I think I probably got them for 50 cents a piece. But I thought they would look fabulous inside the bowls. Just adding that neat little touch of elegance to my overall tablescape. The first thing I'm gonna to do to transform this neutral tablescape with color is I'm gonna switch out the platter. I have this really pretty white with blue design around the outside of it. And I'm going to take and re replace the one I have on my table with it. and you can already start to see that transformation with the blue that is in this plate. Now I wanna incorporate color into my place settings. So I'm going to remove my white napkin that I've been using and I'm going to actually substitute it with this blue one that complements the blue in my platter. I also have these really pretty blue and white napkin rings that don't match exactly, but they're a nice complement to my platter. So I'm gonna do a very similar thing that I did on my white napkins. And I've already got my napkin in a square. I'm going to do that same kind of fold where I bring the two corners in. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to actually kind of pucker this or bunch it together with the backs kind of towards each other, but not in a hard fold, just soft, so that when I slide the napkin ring over, it doesn't bunch in the middle that much. I want something nice and clean. 
So I'm going to put, use this for my napkins, adding color to my place setting. And then I thought I would do one more thing. I am actually going to remove my glasses and I am going to instead use these really pretty blue ones. Again, um, let's see, I think I found these at a thrift store. Definitely uh, vintage, but this blue complements the other blues that I'm incorporating into this tablescape. What do you think of my three different neutral tablescape ideas? And then how to incorporate color into each one of them? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to find out. I hope you have a wonderful time at your next gathering with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.